Hey guys, what's up? It's Owen from Games Bulletin here. And like I said, I'm going to do the q and I wanted to do it with my camera recorder and shit, but my laptop is being fucking crap. My PC is on its way, so hopefully I can get this shit up and running for you guys properly. Uh, until then, we're going to do it this way. Do you like and or have played Assassin's Creed? If yes, who's your favourite character? Uh, I did play Assassin's Creed. I played 1 and 2. That was it. <laughs> it got to the point where I didn't bother buying any other ones and then the storyline got so far ahead that I lost track of what happened and I couldn't be bothered to buy the games and catch up so I just didn't play them. Um, and probably Ezio, I think Ezio from, from number 2? I really don't know. I'm not a big, uh, I'm not a big Assassin's Creed person. What has been your favourite game ever? I probably have to say Metal Gear Solid 1 just because that was the first game that I sort of fell in love with and I was at such a young age I had all of the time in the world to play it and it was just so fucking brilliant I loved it, it completely it wasn't the first game to truly take over my life Fable 2 was the first game to truly take over my life I spent like 9 months playing that game religiously but Metal Gear Solid 1 was definitely my most fun game what was your first video game? My first video game, as far as I remember, was Tekken 3. I'm pretty sure it was Tekken 3. That's the first game I have memories of playing. Like proper vivid memories. I remember I remember owning like a, like a Mega Drive and things. But the first game I remember properly was Tekken 3. Would you eat a dick and sit on a cake or eat cake and sit on a dick? I don't want to do either, to be honest with you, but if I have to pick one, I'd have to say eat cake, just because it's cake. Opinion on Microsoft and Xbox. Um, I don't want to have any issues with either of them. I like the way Microsoft is running their company, and I like the way they're running Xbox as well. They're very consumer orientated. It's definitely good for a company because it puts the consumer's interest at first and the consumer feels like they're a part of it and they're actually wanted. And so I have a lot of respect for Microsoft. The top five games ever. Metal Gear Solid, Fable 2. Tekken 3. GTA 5. Probably Alien Isolation, just because that was the one one game I played that proper fucking scared me, like, really scared me. Any games that people love that you dislike or hate? Um, COD, Minecraft, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's 2, I've played it and it wasn't that amazing. It's a good game, don't get me wrong, it is a good game. but. It's, it's not for me. Um, I can't think of any more off the top of my head. I'm trying not to script it too much, but I can't. I can't think off the top of my head. What is your favourite games console you've ever owned? Um, this is a tie between the PS One and the PS Four. Now, this is just purely because PS One has all that nostalgic value that was my childhood and what I grew up playing. I played other consoles but the PS1 was my fondest memory. And PS4 just because it's allowed me to do the Twitch and it's brought some brilliant games. Some of the games that come out have been absolutely diabolical but it's introduced me to the world of streaming which I fucking love. I absolutely love it. Even if there's just like one person. I love it, I think it's brilliant. What made you think of starting an Instagram? Um, it was another account I was following. And uh, he was doing gaming news. And I was like, this is, this is brilliant, you know, this is something I want to do to, it, with my life, you know, this is something that I feel that I should be doing. Because it's just, I don't know, I don't explain it. I'd always consider it, and then something in my head one day was like, no, do you know what, actually, we're going to go for it. And I said to my girlfriend, I was like, I'm thinking of doing it. I don't know if I should do it. And she's like, no, go for it, fucking do it. And 
I'm glad I did. I'm really fucking glad I did. A wild Pikachu appears, what do you do? You catch that shit. Everyone knows that. Now the thing is, if it goes my way, I throw out my Gengar. Hypnosis. Attack it a couple of times. Pokeball. Bush. Bob's your fucking uncle. Done. I'm not letting the Pikachu get away, no way. What is your finest memory of gaming ever? <laughs> there are a lot of fine memories of gaming I have. But honestly my finest one was going back to when I was little. My dad always used to beat me at Tekken 3. That was the one game me and my dad used to play against each other. And I remember he used to he used to come in from work two or three hours after I came in from school. So I started memorising the instruction booklet and learning all of the moves for every single character and I just absolutely memorized the fuck out of it and then one day I was like I didn't I didn't play it for ages and uh, then I was like right let's have a match and I absolutely annihilated him and we haven't played Tekken together since where and when did you come up with the name games bulletin um it was when I said to my girlfriend about starting the account I knew it wanted to be games or gaming or something like that and I'm, I'm not even exaggerating here I literally spent about three hours thinking of the name and then I thought bulletin and as I, I googled it to make sure I, it meant what I thought it meant I kept my hands like this for a long time <laughs> and um, yeah it was like bulletin is a, a short piece of news I was like well that's, that's perfect for Instagram because Instagram is a short bulletin, so it, was like, it just made sense, it's all come together. Use the force or ride a horse. Why is this even a question? Always use a force, always. It's like, just, no, it's not even a question, man. Player one or player two. Now, this depends on the place you're in. If you're at your own home, unofficial rule, you're automatically player one. If you're around somebody else's house, because of that rule, you're automatically player two. It's as simple as that. There's no other reason for it. That's what it comes down to. But anyway, thank you guys so much for submitting your questions. Hopefully, sort of builds it a bit more. Fuck off! Hopefully, it builds it a bit more. And I don't know if you guys will. You can kind of feel like. You, hopefully, you guys feel like you know me a bit better. That's what I want to do. I want to feel like you, like we're a community. That's what I want. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hopefully you guys will stick around the channel. There's big things coming from this channel and I'd really appreciate some feedback from you guys, especially in terms of our first commentary and things like this. It will be coming soon, so watch this space. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.